Hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Kingdoms of Capuchin and uh, let's see how this goes. So I'm going to preface this now because I think I forgot to mention in the last episode. Um, I'm recording these episodes sort of quite far in advance so if I don't sort of do something in the episode uh, like that somebody's commented on, um, you know say if somebody says you should change this and I don't do it, just wait a couple of episodes and I'll probably band all those changes together into one episode because um, I'm going to be going away on the 7th to the 14th, and it is now... Where have I just put my phone? Yeah, it's the 28th of August right now. And, I'm, you know, I'm going to try and get at least three or four episodes recorded before I go away. So that there's going to be videos scheduled out on time. So, yeah, just bear that in mind. If you comment something, it might not be get changed for at least two or three episodes. So, yeah. Right, let's get on with today's episode. I said what I want to do is work on this gatehouse at the front first. And what we're going to do is get our trusty stone brick and just start building it up. And then we can see what we've got to work with. So let's just build that out to there like that. And this is actually the wrong type of material, stone cobblestone. I just wanted the normal stone brick, but. I guess it's fine, we can uh, we can work with this. And we also need to work out how high we want it to be, how big we want the gate to be, which I'm thinking is only going to be about that wide. Uh, but I want to keep it close to this path as we can. Because I think it just sort of naturally fits. So let's see. There you go, that looks fine as it is. And let me see if I can remember the conquest buttons there we go that's not the right block there we go stone stairs we put some stones in there that is fine we're gonna go back in and detail this all out with um, trapdoor blocks and slab blocks and all the other fancy stuff um, but what I want to do is get the basic shape done with you guys now and then I can come back in and do a sort of um, time-lapse and uh, yeah I think that should be pretty good for the episode. So, um, let's see. Do I want to stagger the gate like that? I think I do. I think that's going to be a little bit more interesting than just, you know, your basic shape that we normally have. And we need to throw this in now to see how weird that looks. It is a bit weird. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking just to mix it up a little bit, make it a little bit different from what we normally would do, is make this four blocks wide. We can still stagger it, but I want to make it an even number. Let me just throw some snow layers in there like that, that's fine. I want to make this like quite wide and low, I think. I almost want to lower it again, because like from this side it's only what three blocks high, from that side it's four. I don't want to mess about with it too much. We'll leave it as four blocks, right? So let's bring this on another layer at least. And then we're going to want it to be sticking out a little bit as well. I think we need some sort of crenels. Rather than having it flat, we want some stuff that's going to be sticking out. So it's going to be an even number in the middle. We need to bear that in mind. So maybe if we just do every two blocks, that leaves a big gap on the side there. You can do two blocks there. And then maybe we can do something on the corner, I'm not sure. We also probably want to put in some buttresses. So we can do that. That's looking okay. And what are we going to do at the top here? Should we just have it going simple like that? Not too sure. I don't know. Hmm. Oops. Might have a play around with that when we start doing the actual uh, like time lapse bit, and I've got a little bit more time because when we do the time lapses, I like doing them because you know it gives me time to think about what exactly what it is that I want to do. And I already thought about this, but I want to throw a staircase down here, and that's not going to be enough. I think actually no, that that's fine. That works. 
So it's just like a little way to get up onto the wall straight away. And you can look down, do stuff. Yeah. Um, maybe we could use some like trap doors and stuff or vertical slabs. No, not vertical slabs because I want it to come in a little bit. So that can go down like that. And then maybe throw these arches in like this. How does that look? Never really done this before, mixing in. Ooh, that's interesting. I kind of like how that rounds itself off. I don't like how thick that now looks, so maybe we can mix it. Ooh, actually. <laughs> Ooh, just got ideas. Um, cobblestone wall. Let's throw a cobblestone wall in here. And then from now, like that, like that, and then we can put something in there. So that's going to be a full block, gap of two, two, full block, that's not full block, gap of two, full block, gap of two, and a full block at the end. That kind of works nicely. It's completely not lined up with these though, um, which is going to annoy the hell out of me. So let's line those up, throw these walls back in. Does that look better? That looks a little bit better. It's a little bit, you know, it's not as sharp and st stuff. This bit though, not too sure what I want to do. Can we th try a corner? No, because that sticks out way too much. Hmm, the corner that way. Not a fan of it. It'd have to just be that, but I don't particularly like it. Could leave it. Oh no, I can't leave it open. That's gonna have to move up one as well, as well, as well, as well. That's good English, isn't it? Could maybe leave it open and try and, you know, ooh, ooh, idea, idea. Uh, <laughs> what's the block called? Hopper. I mean. This is because I'm just using your basic things. Yeah, nice nice big brazier up there. I think that kind of fits nicely. It doesn't mess up the design too much. And then here, we're going to throw in a buttress like that. And then throw those blocks in there like that. So that's, that's okay, I think, for a decent shape. What we're going to do now is build this tower up as well. And probably cut into a time lapse because, you know, this tower... It's going to get very repetitive and then when it comes to detailing it out I can throw in the detail in the time lapse and then just come back and sort of explain to you guys what was going through my head and why we decided to do that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah that's what I'm going to do. We're going to, go into <clears throat> We're going to wait until my voice decides to be normal which is let's face it it's never going to happen is it? <laughs> and uh, I'm not too sure how much we're going to get done in this episode. We'll just sort of see how long this time lapse takes and where we're up to sort of time wise in the episode get rid of this tower because that doesn't need to be there but yeah i kind of want it to be short and stubby this tower so maybe maybe sort of like this height so maybe put the doorway there and then have like the crenels coming out here think that's what I want to go for. Short and stubby. I think that's going to look good. Right, so we're going to go into a time lapse, build all this up, detail it all out, maybe work on the road path a little bit here, and do a bit of detailing, and um, come back and see where we're up to and what we're going to do next. So I'll see you guys on the other side of the time lapse.
Okay, we're back, and I figured we'd come in and do some of the texturing side of it in person, because, I don't know, I guess it gets skipped out a lot. People just assume you know how to do it, so we're going to go over it, sort of, piece by piece. And we're going to want some hard and dark looking stones for the bottom. Maybe that one limestone, but probably not. I want it to look a little bit more natural than that. Um, and we're basically just going to be like making it look a little lighter as it goes up and more, I'd say, defined as it goes up. So what I mean by that is we have that, did I not pick it up? I could have swore I just threw this dolomite. There we go. Oh, I did. Yeah, so for example, we've got this dolomite that we'll throw in down here like this and then as we start getting a little bit further up in the build we can start mixing in a few of these other bricks like this so it just looks a little bit more blended in together and then what you need to do is just find ooh, that looks nice there's a sort of in between for those purple bricks that is quite nice and then well, what block is that that is shale so shale and the plastered stone no, the hewn stone? I don't know. Hewn stone, they go quite nicely together. What about this dark brick one? That is all. I want to use this. This one is going to be my main block. I like this one, and I think it fits the style that I want to go for quite well. And then once we've done all this, we've found the palette that we want to go for. We can go back in, edit all of the detail that we did with the stone brick, because that's the great thing about the mod, is there's just almost every block has the exact same block so you can play with pretty much anything. That's why I like building in just like the basic stone brick or cobblestone because that's just what I'm used to, I'm building that and then we can get into other things. So if we're going to be using this as our main block palette, so we're just going to throw a couple of blocks in this face here so we can see what we're working with. And then the way I like to build, like texture my builds is have um, three different blocks and we'll have um, a large majority of like the dominating block which is going to be this one and then you can throw in like a heavier darker block and um, to break it up and then you want to add in an accent block and you you know you have very little of the accent blocks let's have a look at how this that looks in the no okay so that might actually be good for down here because, is that what this block is actually? Yeah, it is. So, a natural andesite is that one that's being used there. I think this is going to look a bit too bright. Pink quartzite. Or grey quartzite. Again, it's probably going to look too bright. Yeah. So, we need to try and find a natural rock that looks similar to that one there. While we're asleep. The basalt. Andesite. I think we might have tried. The shale kind of maybe would work and this grey and pink grime. So let's try a couple of those. That definitely doesn't. The shale kind of does. That may be our best bet. That... No. The basalt. Ooh, now. That ain't too bad. I kind of like that. So the way we can work this basalt in is just by throwing a couple of blocks in here and the more heavy on the basalt at the base, less so at the bottom. And yeah, that looks fine. And actually now, this uh, natural andesite block is starting to fit in quite a little bit better. Or oh, do we want to go natural andesite or that one? I think I think the natural andesite probably work better. So that's how I'm going to work it. It's just couple of blocks here and there but again we're having this as our dominating material so that like the and yeah I think that looks fine so now we need a proper sturdy material that's our sort of base and it looks very dark and grimy and stuff so now we need to look at these refined blocks and try and find something that's similar matches up well but is its own separate identity just to give some of the accent colours 
I'm leaning towards this hewn stone that we've just picked up. So that in there, that in there, we've got all the blocks that we need. Like that. And you know what? Instead of using that crate and the basalt, we're actually just going to use that hewn stone in there. I think that's going to like make a little bit more sense to mix that in like this. I guess, I don't know. I keep constantly changing my mind on this. We can get rid of that block there. And maybe that one there. This is going to be like that as well. Yeah, so that's looking better. But we definitely need an in-between of these two now. But we do have all the blocks we need to smooth that transition out. Right, let me try and find something to go in between that. I think maybe just a cobblestone, which... What's this look like? Definitely not. What about that? That kind of does blend a little bit nicely. Okay guys, we're back. I've just had to cut the video there because I started rambling on a bit and we ended up changing the style of this god knows how many times. And then when I came back to record it, there was some weird audio issue. It just sounded like I was in a wind tunnel. So I don't know what that was all about, but uh, it doesn't seem to be doing it now. So fingers crossed, I guess. So what we've got so far is we've gone for this dark um, cobblestone. This is what I wanted from the start. Uh, and then we've managed to mix in this weathered andesite. Uh, which I think looks really nice. We've not cut too much of it, so it's mainly just that dark cobblestone. But it's really, really, really looking quite nice right now. So, let's give a quick tour, I guess. We've got this entrance here. I'm not too sure how to block this off. Whether it's just going to be a big wooden door, or we're just going to leave it open. I'm not too sure. And um, we've got a little railing up here. And on this side, if I find the right place, uh, I can just fix those little bits. We have a staircase. The staircase is a bit hard to get to because of this rock that's sticking out, but I kind of like that. Um, it comes up here, and you're up on top of the walls. I, I don't know, I really like the uh, the wall design we've come up with. Um, I think that's quite good. This is where you can come down here, and there's a little hole there to shoot out of, and a little hole on this side to shoot out of. So that all works fine. And then when you come over to the tower here, we've got a staircase that goes up and down. I like these little... Uh, arrow slip things here as well. I think they, they're they quite good. We've got one on each corner, although this really is the only useful one, I guess, if you just defending it. But, so if we go downstairs first, I guess, this dark little corridor, and then at the end, again, we've just got another one of these little shooty out parts, which, yeah, it's fine. I think that's... That has to be, really. We're just going to put a bit of storage or something there. Not too sure. And then up here is the top. And again, I really like the style I've gone for. I've never used this before for the tops, but I think it's got a really unique look to it. It looks quite nice. Um, so what I'm going to do just to end off this episode now is we're going to go into a time lapse. And I did start um, working on the road a little bit, but like I said, the uh, the audio was messed up, so I couldn't really use that. So uh, we decided to have a little bridge, and it was all going to be sort of pieced together. So you can see I've just grabbed random blocks here to do that. But we're going to do it properly now in this time lapse. Going to detail it out, make it look all nice. Work on a little path coming up into this main courtyard here, and that's going to be it for this episode. And then after that, we're going to work on this big main building, and maybe a little bit of the courtyard area, maybe those that green section as well. But yeah, that is going to be it for the episode. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, a uh, comment. If you've got any ideas, again, I'm recording these episodes in advance, so I might not get to that comment for another week or two but um i will you know we do i always look at the comments i always read and comment back if i remember to most times and hit me up on discord you got any ideas discord is going to be the best way to uh, get to me and then you know maybe you've got an idea somebody else got a similar idea you can go back and forth and we might get a new idea out of those two ideas and then we'll have three ideas um but yeah that is going to be it hopefully you enjoyed the time lapse and i'll see you guys in the next episode